Today I'm back with a brand new tutorial showing you how to create a custom LoRa model that supports the powerful Hunyan model using the TensorArt platform. And the best part? You can now train both image and video models directly on TensorArt. Let's jump in and see how it's done. Once you've visited the site and logged in, head over to the online training section. Here you'll see an interface that lets you train either an image model or a video model. For this demo, I'll show you how to train an image model. To get started, set the model theme to custom. Then you'll see an option to select a base model. Go ahead and choose the Hunyan model from the list. Next, click on Use Recommended. This will automatically apply the optimal settings for the best results. After that, upload or simply drag and drop the images you want to use for training the lower model. These should be images of a specific person or style you want the model to learn. Once the images are uploaded, you'll notice they're automatically tagged. You can also add tags manually if you like. Plus, there's an option to crop the images to a specific size if needed. Now let's set the training parameters. First, adjust the repeat value to 10 if needed, or you can leave it at the default. Then set the epoch to 20. Generally, the higher the number of epochs, the better the training results you'll get. Next, set the trigger word. You can use a specific keyword or a name that you'll use to activate this LoRa model during generation. Here, enter a prompt that includes the trigger word. This allows you to preview the results while the model is training through the epochs. If you're a premium user, you can select the priority queue for faster processing, then simply click Start Training to begin. Now wait a few minutes for the training to complete. You can leave the page if needed and come back later to check the results once all epochs are finished. All right, the training is complete. You can now see the available epochs listed here, browse through them to find the best one for your needs. And if needed, you can continue training from any specific epoch. Once you've found the best epoch for your model, simply click Publish to make it live and ready to use on the TensorArt platform. In this window, click on Create a Project, then give your model name, select a channel, set your preferred tags, and click Create. Now, on this screen, there's not much to change. You can set the model version to one, adjust the training steps if needed, add a short description, set the string to one, and then click Publish. Great, right. your model has now been published. It will take a few minutes to deploy, and once that's done, you can click Run to start generating images using your new LoRa model. Let's test it out. Click Run and type in a prompt to see your LoRa model in action. Great, look at that guys. We're now able to generate unique and creative images with this model. It's especially useful for fashion designers looking to gather fresh ideas. And just like that, you can train your own Lare model too. So I'll be back soon with more exciting tutorials. Until then, take care and goodbye.